Hi there, today we're taking a closer look at the Palace Cinema in Thetford, Norfolk in the UK. Like so many others, it had a long and illustrious history before succumbing to bingo. So, let's tell the story. The People's Palace Cinema was situated in Guildhall Street in Thetford and was built and opened in 1913 by former showman and fairground operator Mr Barker. Not much is known about those early days except to say that it was recorded as having 390 seats all on one level. It was acquired by Ben Cooley Jr. in 1931 and he extended the building a little and had it equipped for talkies. The first one shown was A Warm Corner starring Leslie Henson and it was renamed simply The Palace Cinema. Ben Cooley Jr. operated the cinema successfully boasting that he only lost a show once and that was when the film failed to arrive. He put the cinema's reliability down to the fact that it had its own generator and so determined was he that a good show be put on that he sometimes used to sit in the audience and watch the show. Now let's detour slightly and have a look at the Avenue Cinema in Brandon just a few miles away from Thetford. This was built by Cooley after he had used a wooden mobile structure which was destroyed by fire in 1934. The Avenue Cinema opened later the same year and Cooley had that built in ten and a half weeks. The Avenue seated 512 and was equipped with British Thompson Houston sound system. It had a 30 foot wide proscenium and a 12 foot deep stage with two dressing rooms. In 1966 Ben Cooley Jr. sold that to the Breckland Cinemas Limited which was owned by Cliff Waterman. By then the proscenium had been widened to 34 feet to allow for cinemascope presentations. It was operated by Breckland Cinemas as a part-time cinema and bingo club and in the 1970s it became a full-time independent bingo club. Last known as Winner's Bingo Club, the poor old avenue closed around 2007. It lay derelict for several years and was demolished in August 2021. Now, in early 1976, Ben Cooley also sold the Palace in Thetford to Breckland Cinemas Limited. They'd been operating it for the previous 10 years on a lease and it was on a policy of five nights for films with bingo on two nights a week. Jeff High was the manager of the Palace for 20 years starting in 1964. He started in the business as a trainee projectionist at the Pilot in Kings Lynn. He saw war service and showed films for the Royal Marines. After the war and a spell on the land, he was back with projection at another of Ben Cooley's cinemas, the Rex at Feltwell, near Thetford, before moving to the Avenue at Brandon and then finally to the Palace. In the 1970s, Jeff High installed Gaumont Cayley 19s with President Arcs. Now, let's talk about Dad's Army. Now, much of the location filming for Dad's Army was done in and around the town of Thetford and in the nearby Thetford Forest. Thetford is a town that utilised local flint for many of its buildings and it suited the producers well. Thetford's Palace Cinema featured in two episodes, The Big Parade from 1970 and A Soldier's Farewell in 1972. The Palace was also the place where the cast gathered once the public film showing had concluded to view the rushes that were shot that day. Jeff High stayed behind to run them and the atmosphere with cast and crew was apparently electric. There is now a very busy Dad's Army Museum in the town and a statue of Captain Mannering graces the town centre. But like so many good things, films at the Palace came to an end and the Palace Cinema Thetford closed in the summer of 1985 with only 15 people turning up to see Michael Douglas in Romancing the Stone. It became a full-time bingo club and the company retained Jeff High as an engineer handling all the maintenance. Jeff worked there even after retirement, popping in whenever there were technical issues. On a nice way to finish, for a change, the Palace is still standing, operated by the independent Winners Bingo Club. Well, that's all for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, that helps a lot. 
until next time, as usual, be nice to each other and see you soon. Ta-da.